and welcome to the gold medal game of this Women's World Championship playthrough. A little bit of a different gold medal game than we probably all expected when we first started this series. Of course, we took on the United States in the semifinal, and now we're taking on Team Switzerland in the gold medal final. Pretty excited about this one. Team Canada just defeated the United States in the Olympics 3-2 to two, to win the gold medal behind two goals from who else? Marie-Philippe Poulain. Let's see if she has a big game for us in this game, in our gold medal game. I'm sure she will. Uh, the big contributor for us in the series so far has been Brianne Jenner uh, with 10 points and 9 goals. And here we are at EA Sports Arena in Canada. It's a battle of five 1-0 teams. Her only loss came in the opening game of this series to Team Finland. And here's Marie-Philippe Poulain to take the faceoff, and she wins it. Let's see how fast these Canadian women can get started. They got off to a great start against the Americans in the gold medal game in the Olympics. Um... Natalie Spooner almost had the first goal, but it was called back on an offside. But uh, Sarah Nurse answered very quickly after that goal was called back. Um, hopefully, these videos are going to record a little bit better now because I got a new computer, so that's exciting. Here's Marie Philippe Poulain scores! Magic. Absolute magic. Marie-Philippe Poulain in a gold medal game. You've got to be kidding me. It just happened in real life and now it's happening in the video game. The captain comes through. Boom. one nothing Canada. Love the player likeness there on Marie-Philippe Poulain as well. Assisted by Aaron Ambrose. Wow, did she have a great tournament. Here's Jocelyn Rock, And there's Spooner. Natalie Spooner, looking. Tries to feather it around behind the net there. Doesn't quite get to Poulain. And back come the Swiss. There's Poulain. Nice back check there by Marie-Philippe Poulain. Canada came out with lots of speed, lots of aggression against the Americans. Nice play there by Sarah Nurse. Almost to intercept that, and she would have been free if she got that puck. Spooner. Can't get it out. Ambrose, working. It's kept in there by Ingold. Nice couple of stops there by Erin Debian. And was she ever good in the game against the Americans? Here's Sarah Nurse with the shot. Marie-Philippe Poulain was there for the rebound. Yeah, Anne Renee Debian, and I believe it was her first Olympics, uh, was absolutely spectacular in that taking over for the great Shannon Zabados, uh, who is an analyst on CBC alongside Kate Burness and... Megan Mickelson. They were fantastic. Here's Bria Jenner. Fires it over the top of the net. Jenner again behind the net. Tries to find Sarah Fillier. Sarah Fillier walks out. Sarah Fillier stopped by Moore and she'll hold on. EA Sports still has not fixed the glitch where the women goaltenders don't wear masks. It's pretty embarrassing. I'm not going to lie. I really do hope that this isn't just a one-time thing. Here's Rebecca Johnston, wraparound chance. The rebound, Emily Clark, one shot, two shots. Goes wide, delayed penalty coming up here. Two team Switzerland, Canada's going to the power play. We're gonna put out, no, we're not gonna put it at the number one unit because they're tired. As Hauser goes to the box. And this is a great chance, great opportunity here for Team Canada to jump out to a quick Early 2-0 lead. Brianne Jenner to take the face off. She wins it. Sarah Fillier. Sarah Fillier. What can you say? It's Sarah Fillier. She walks out in front, takes advantage. It takes all of like what? 10 seconds? Bang bang. It's 2-0 Canada. Sarah Fillier is the future of Canadian women's hockey. 21 years old, 
What a dynamic tournament she had in Beijing. Now here's Jenner. Brings it off the post. You got to wonder what the tournament would have been like for the Americans had Brianna Decker not got injured in the first game. She came out for the medal ceremony on one leg. It sucks when you're some of your best players get injured. There's a nice backhand shot there by Shelton, and Moore will hang on. You gotta love the effort from the Americans. They did not go away either. In the game against the Canadians, they were down all game, but they battled back, made it 3-2 with a last minute flurry of shots. And man, oh man, are those Team Canada, Team USA, gold medal games ever exciting. I think the last four have ended in a 3-2 final. Here's Laura Stacy cutting to the front of the net. She had a chance to whack at that into the net and did not quite connect. And Switzerland's going to come out with the puck. We're going to play a little bit of EA Sports horizontal hockey here. And Switzerland's in. Shelton with the shot. Nice stop by Debian. And there's Blair Turnbull forcing the turnover to Maltese. Across. Could not connect with Laura Stacy. Nice defensive play there. Turnbull in front to Stacy. She'll fire it over the top of the net. Maltese. Nice keep there by Turnbull. Turnbull cuts to the front. The whack away at it. Bell shot. Stopped by Moore. She's been solid here early on for the Swiss. Keeping the team in it. At a 2 nothing score. It's the top two teams in the tournament. Battling here for the gold medal. Scramble draw here. Switzerland's going to come away with it. And out of the zone they come. Here's Claire Thompson. Nice defensive play to, to hold up Switzerland at the line. Claire Thompson had a fantastic tournament as well. Leading the team and points. Rebecca Johnston with a backhand shot. Uh, leading the team in points uh, from the D. Uh, I think she had 12 points, something like that. Um, I think Sarah Nurse also set the record, or maybe tied the record for most points by a Canadian woman in the Olympics, tying the record from Haley Wickenheiser. Uh, from, I think that was 2002. Yeah, just an all-around great Olympics for Team Canada. And a great first period here for us. Up 2 nothing. We outshot the Swiss 12-3 in that first period. And let's try and keep it up here. Hard to tell the difference between the Swiss and the Canadian fans there in the crowd. Both teams wearing red and white. I actually like... The white Canadian jerseys a lot better than I like the red. Nice stop there again by Debian. She's been great so far, although she's only been tested four times now. But she's been great for us so far. Here's Marie Philippe Poulin again with speed. Marie Philippe Poulin! Blocked there by Sigrist. As Marie Philippe Poulin was looking for her second of the night, or maybe technically her fourth of the night, if you consider the real life games. But I'm sure uh, I'm sure they don't consider that. So we'll we'll say second of the night. Video games are different than real life, so I'm told. Tell that to the people who believe in the metaverse. Here's Sarah Nurse <laughs> breaking up that play. And it's not for long though, because the Swiss are back into the zone with rugs up to Ensler. This is the longest sustained pressure from the Swiss so far, and there's a tip in front by Rug. Or Rueg? Not sure. And it's 2-1 here. And Team Canada's got to get back on their horses here. we got to start applying a little bit more pressure. And it's probably going to start here with Brianne Jenner. Brianne Jenner in. Fires it over the top of the net. Melody and Aoud is all over that one. Um, but only for a second there. And the Swiss are turned back at the line there. Trying to play disciplined here. 
could try and do a couple stick checks there, but don't want to risk taking a penalty because if you've watched any of my series, you'll know that uh, I take a lot of penalties, I guess, and uh, I'm not good at killing them off. Here's Brianne Jenner. Jenner in, waits, takes, stopped again by Moore. She's been fantastic in this game. And here's a two-on-one down low. And Renee de Bien with a nice stop to keep it 2-1. What a performance here from Anne Renee de Bien so far. Can't say enough about her in that gold medal game too. I know I probably already said it once, but very, very proud of the women. Of course, the men were eliminated this morning as well against Team Sweden, losing 2-0. Um, oh man, there was a, the best chance for Team Switzerland there ever since their goal. Uh, come on, Joe Sanye doing the William Nylander and cutting right back into the zone with pressure. But unlike William Nylander, she doesn't turn it over and she finds Emily Clark straight up the middle. Emily Clark, Rebecca Johnston was there, could not get it to her. And uh, here come the Swiss again. Nice play there. I think that's Renetta Fast. Maybe. Maltese is on that puck too. Fourth line shift here for Team Canada. It wasn't written that fast, it was Bell. Laura Stacy's gonna come away with the puck here. Still 2-1 in a close game here. Laura Stacy shot, fired, turned aside there. Blair Turnbull's in. Puck's knocked off of her stick and here comes the Swiss again. They'll just dump the puck in here and go for a little bit of a line change. Bell back to collect it and she's gonna find a long stretch pass here for Spooner. Natalie Spooner in, stops up, takes it to the front of the net, she's got Stacy. And they're unable to connect. Sorry, that was Turnbull. Getting the numbers all confused here. And here comes Segrist. In. Tried to deflect it. Unable to do so. And here's Marie-Philippe Poulin. She had Spooner there. and I didn't see her. So I held on there. Spooner is in front again. Sarah Nurse scores. Oh, what a beautiful goal there from Sarah Nurse. Just finding the corner. And this top line, which struggled so much in the first couple of episodes, has come through in a big way in this gold medal game. 3-1 here for Team Canada. That's a huge goal because the Swiss have been coming on here. Here's Melody Daoud in behind the net. She takes three women with her. Daoud in front. Can't get her shot away. And here comes Sigrist. Into the zone. Back to Rugg. She scored earlier. Nice stop again by Debian. And Brianne Jenner is going to collect that puck and come away with Melody Daou. She's around. Daou in. One shot there. Just went off the blocking arm there of the Swiss netminder. That's going to do it for the period. A much better period here for Team Switzerland. But they're still down by two. It's 3-1 after two periods, unlike what EA Sports says. It's not 2 nothing. Kind of tired of seeing that glitch over and over and over again. But what you gonna do? It all comes down to this, folks. The third period, gold medal game. Marie-Philippe Poulain wins the faceoff. Jocelyn LaRock. Straight up the middle, Marie-Philippe Poulain turned aside. The Swiss netminder there did a great job holding her ground, taking away the time and space there for Marie-Philippe Poulain. There wasn't much of an angle there. And here's Spooner, the only member of this line not to have a goal so far. Spooner tried to feed it in front, but she was poke checked there. And the puck came flying right back out. Here Spooner with Ambrose, Ambrose. The nice mobile defenseman. She was fantastic in the Olympics as well. The future for the Canadians uh, women is bright on the decor, especially. I think there was five new ladies in the uh, 
Olympics this year as opposed to the team that played in Korea just four years ago. So the future is bright. And here's Brianne Jenner. Jenner stops up, shoots, and it's checked there. Brianne Jenner had four goals in the second game of this series and has been our leading goal scorer ever since. Jenner trying to come away with the puck. Sarah Fillier. Fillier cuts. Loses the puck on the way to the net. Moore will cover up and make the save. 13-36 remaining here in the third period. I don't remember what the score was in the preliminary game where we beat. Oh, here's Renetta Fast. Daou can't get it in front. I can't remember the score of the game where we beat Switzerland in the preliminary round, but they I feel like they're playing a lot better in this game as opposed to that game, which I think was the second game of the tournament for us. And there's a nice centering feed in front. It's I think it's Laura Stadler. Laura, oh, so close. One of the best players for Team Switzerland. She had a fantastic Olympics as well. It's 3-2. We need an insurance goal and we need it fast. And there's Renetta fast, moving it up to Emily Clark with Jill Sonye going to the net. Sonye scores. Jill Sonye. Off the pad of Moore and in. What a response for Team Canada. Look at the speed there from Emily Clark. Right off of the blocker and in for Sonia. She's pumped. And Canada has a two goal lead restored. Another face-off win there for Emily Clark. Shelton finds her. Clark shoots it off the glove or off the blocker. And behind the net, it's the Canadian women again. This third line is pressing here. I love the pressure. Emily Clark feeds it back for Rebecca Johnston. Johnston can't get there in time. It's turned over, and here come the Swiss. Nice back check there from Emily Clark. And... Once again, the women will get out quite ra rather easily as Renetta Fast gets it out to Maltese. Maltese stops, waits, takes. Her shot's blocked. Bell's just going to get it in deep for Clark. Clark in front. Could not connect. Jill Sonia again. And Moore will make the save. Or is it Maurer? Hmm. It's too late to change it now. 6.53 remaining here in. The third period, Swiss win the faceoff. Here comes Reiner. Nice poke check there from Bell. She'll move the puck to Claire Thompson. Up to Blair Turnbull. Turnbull in, waits behind the net. She finds Bell, back to Turnbull. The cycle game is on, Turnbull to Thompson. Thompson's checked, and it could be a potential break here, but look at that back check there by Bell to get onto that puck first, and now it's Back the other way with Laura Stacy. She gets it in deep to Turnbull. Brings it off the post up from a bad angle shot. Comes out for Laura Stacy. She can't get there. Sarah Nurse in looking for her second of the night and she gets it. Sarah Nurse, two goal game. It's 5 2 for the Canadian women. Now I don't want to jinx it, folks, but that might be all that she wrote. Kind of want to get another goal here with Marie-Philippe Poulin before the game's all said and done. But, uh, oh, turn over there. It's Mueller in, or Muller. Not sure. I don't have the Swiss names down, that's for sure. Here's Marie-Philippe Poulin. Long stretch pass. Poulin's in. Poulin, backhand shot. The rebound, Spooner. Puts it wide. Spooner to Poulin. Scores. Marie-Philippe Poulin. Scores. And it's 6-2 for the Canadian women. Who do you call in the gold medal game? You call Marie-Philippe Poulain. Unreal. She comes through 
in the real world and in the video game world. Two goals on the night. And looking for more. Poulet in. Turned aside there. The Swiss have made a goaltending change with a minute 30 left. Kind of feel bad for the Swiss goalie. Marie-Philippe Lancer nurse battling along. The board's there. Doesn't really matter who comes away with it now. This is all but over at this point. Sarah Nurse tries to find a streaky Marie-Philippe Poulain. And there's Spooner knocking that puck away. Spooner with Poulain. Spooner stops up. Poulain's in front. Spooner to Poulain. Poulain around the net looking for three. Poulain is stopped there by Brendelli. Again. Not sure about these Swiss names. So my apologies if I'm mispronouncing them. Uh, hits are 10-0 for Team Canada in this game. Probably the last face-off of the series here. Brian Jenner wins it. Here's Aaron Ambrose, the shot. Turned aside. Lara Stadler comes away with the puck. 17 seconds left there. A nice check there by Sarah Fillier. Won't be the last time I say her name. That's for sure. She's got a bright future. As I've already mentioned, here's Melody Dayu in front. Brianne Jenner, one more goal for Jenner. In this series, she's been the best player. So might as well get her the last goal of the series. Nice feed there from Melody Dayu. A huge third period here for the Canadian women. Secures them the victory. One more face-off win. Aaron Ambrose dumps it in. And that's it, folks. It's gold for Canada. <sighs> Feels good. I was worried after the first episode of this series that I was going to disappoint. Because we got embarrassed in the first game, but we came back, won the next six. Devastation for Team Switzerland, but they should have their heads held high. They had a great tournament. There's the handshakes, Natalie Spooner, Marie-Philippe Poulain. What can you say? I feel like there's more player likenesses in the handshakes than there uh, was in the actual game, but maybe I'm wrong about that. Final shots, 28 to 13. I think that was Aaron Ambrose as the uh, third star, Sarah Nurse second star, and I'm pretty sure we all know who the first star is. There she is, Marie-Philippe Poulain. Who else? Love that goal. Um, yeah, we outshot them 12-3 to in the third period after having a slow second period. So let's wrap up this series by going into the main menu one last time and checking out the final stats for Team Canada. See who ended up leading the team in points if it was still Brianne Jenner or if Marie-Philippe Boulin caught her. No, it was Brianne Jenner. 10 goals, 2 assists. Marie-Philippe Poulain finishes one point behind her. Six goals, five assists. So that last second goal there from Brianne Jenner uh, passed, put her past Marie-Philippe Poulain. Natalie Spooner ended up with 10 points. She had a slow start to the tournament, as did Sarah Nurse. So they all contributed there as well. Sarah Fillier, nice to see her get a goal there in the final game. Really can't say enough about all of these women both in the video game and in real life. Claire Thompson actually finished with the least amount of points in this series, which is surprising considering that she was one of the best players for Team Canada in the Olympics. But uh, like I said, 
really hope that EA Sports adds to this series next year and you know the years to come. I really hope that they incorporate women's hockey and a hockey ultimate team. I hope that you'll be able to, you know, uh, have more integration with playing uh, with women and men in this game as opposed to having them isolated. I think that's just dumb. Um, I really, really do hope that we start to grow the game of women's hockey a little bit more because it is a fine, fine sport. And there's a lot of amazing women competing in the game of hockey, not in just Canada, not in just the United States, but around the world. And if I've done a little bit here to help shine a light on women's hockey, I, I, that was my main goal of the series, even if it was just for one or two people. So I hope you enjoyed it. I had a great time making this series. Uh, if you like these, these episodes, hit the like button and uh, subscribe if you really like it. And I'll see you guys next time.